That's fun. How are you, Carl? Good. How about you? A long time. I haven't seen you in a while. How about, no, where have you been hiding? All right. Well, usually at home, you know, uh, holding the fort down, as they say, <laughs> at, uh, at Kelly Blue Book and Auto Trader. I don't get to go out much, but sometimes I make exceptions, like when I get to drive a new well, Mustang. When it's a Ford, I think you're like a big a Ford fan. Yeah. Uh, so I great great opportunity to do it. And uh, I mean, this car has a lot of history, obviously. So this is the third special edition of the bullet the movie that was made in well they made it in uh, 68 50 right? years ago it's the 50th 50 anniversary years of the movie. Ago, yeah we were there at the station where uh, outside the or near the san francisco airport they have the original car and there's like a very interesting story about that huh? interesting is one way to put it yes <laughs> there is a story to that car yeah uh, the one from the movie that was lost for yeah. a, for a long time yeah well actually they, everybody knew where it was, right? right? It, was, it was purposefully lost yeah. by, uh, by the uh, owner. I'll just use that word, owner. <laughs> You're not very fun of that guy. <laughs> Tell I just us don't, why. I just, Tell us why. I just don't think iconic movie cars should be allowed to rot away in a garage yeah. or a barn for 30 years. Either, either fix it yourself or let someone have it who's going to fix it. But it's really selfish to take an iconic movie car and let it rot away. Yeah, because when, when there's, so, there's yeah. a line of people waiting to treat it the way it's supposed to be treated. Exactly. And, and you know what? It's his car, though. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah. With it. Just like it's American, I can have whatever I opinion know, yeah. I want. And you can have as many cars so as you want. You can have his car, whatever. and I can have my opinion of his car. But when, a car, when something becomes so famous or popular, uh, it deserves a better, a better look, I guess. But yeah. anyways. But now they but they own, found the second one. Exactly, I was gonna go to that. And that I think that's what spun out for to come up with a, with a third generation of a special edition for the bullet. I think the 50th anniversary too. You put it all together, you know. You got yeah. 50 years ago this year that the movie came out. Uh, you've got both cars now accounted for, and the one that uh, was lost to the ages truly for the last 45, 47 years before they found it, like a couple of years ago in Mexico, and assumed to be crushed long ago and actually find out that it's sitting in a junkyard in Mexico and to identify it, somebody, thank God, got a hold of it that didn't think it was just another Mustang and they were gonna turn it into a, an Eleanor. You know, someone yeah. who wanted to turn it into one of these Eleanor replicas, 67 Mustang Fastback Eleanor replicas. Thankfully, he was able to recognize before they stored, started to tear into it and make it into a different car that, wait a second, this thing's got holes it's in history it. Too. It's got equipment <laughs> in it. Let's check the VIN. Oh, it's the other bullet <laughs> Mustang. Kind of a good find. I don't know what, who paid what for that car, I know. but they probably did a good, a pretty good investment. What do you think, Javier? Absolutely. It's like yeah. Apple stock from 20 years ago. You imagine that. <laughs> so anyway, let's move forward 50 years to today. Yeah. You've been driven a little bit already. I drove a little bit also. Uh, I want your opinion first. I mean, uh, I, I really enjoyed it. I mean, it's really the noise, the, the it's, it's mostly cosmetic. There's some enhancement to like suspension, engine, and stuff, right? But yeah. mostly cosmetic. No, you're right. It's it's a proper you know homage to the original car. Remember, the original car wasn't anything crazy either. No. It, was, it was a GT390 mm -hmm. Mustang, and Steve was cool enough. We made it look cool in the movie. Yeah, he put on the cool wheels and he debadged it so it didn't have any exterior badging on it. And then, of course, he got one in dark Highland Green. And it was a manual shift car. And that's essentially what they've done. They've created this car that's got a unique look, not like any other Mustang, a little more power, a little more suspension tweaking, a little more exhaust note tweaking. Yeah, we've been experiencing it here in the Twisties here. Uh, yeah. Outside San Francisco. Suspension's a little tweaked. But, but I had a 2001 version, the first wow. generation of these remakes. That car was fabulous. I mean, that car, a lot of people who know that Fox Body era Mustang with the solid rear axle that went on for so many years, a lot of people consider that the best handling yeah, Mustang yeah. of that era. Yes, better than the independent rear suspension Cobras. So, uh, and I love that car. And I think this is another you know, another winter form. It's beautiful inside and out. It makes the right noises. And, they have uh, all the little them. details for the bullet. This is uh, MP001. I think all the ones that we're driving in this event are, but the ones that are going to be sold to the public are going to be numbered. Uh, but it's not that limited edition because they're doing two year uh, model production, right? Just like they did in 08 yeah. and 09. Yeah. So in 2001, they only did one year mm -hmm. and they only made 5,500 of them. And I had one of those 
then at eight and nine, they did it for two years, and now I think they're gonna do it for 18 and 19. So, but it's cool, you know, they're not overplaying this. If they were doing this every like third year, it'd be like, yeah, you know, no, yeah. it'd get tiring. But once and the 50th year anniversary, this is worth And it going. works for the 50th anniversary, yeah. too. So if you were to make a bullet for the 75th anniversary, what would you do? <laughs> I'd make something that actually um, it has to be hovers, electric. <laughs> it hovers over the road, and instead of uh, banging up and down over those over yeah. those uh, jumps in uh, San Francisco, yeah, okay, it's the just famous kind of car chase over. in the movie, which the movie is more famous for that than the actual plot like that. Yeah. The the bullet who is the agent? What's his name? James uh, Frank Bullet. Frank Bullet, Officer Frank Bullet. Yeah, and uh, he's chasing the bad guy in a challenge in a charger. Uh, but anyway, so and a and a, and a young uh, Steve McQueen. No, a young Steve McQueen, and uh, I can't believe I'm blanking on her name. She was very famous uh, British actress. Was his girlfriend, and she was cute. Um, but anyway, yeah. So are we gonna wait 25 years? Do you think we're gonna see that? <laughs> I was hoping there'd be a movie remake to go oh, along with the car. Okay. You know, Maybe there should have there should have been a bullet uh, come out in 19. Or in well, two, maybe it's 2018. Maybe they're working on it. The car's no. here. Aren't they? Yeah. Do you want and to make the movie? And they might even be able to dig up one or two Dodges with some horsepower to, to do the whole chase well, scene. I think well, Dodge now they it. have now Dodge has a Challenger Red Eye with 797 horsepower. So yeah. maybe there, there's a movie there. Be a great a great chase scene with a Dodge Challenger I think Red Dodge Eye. Dodge will win. I would think. <laughs> I mean, with that horsepower. Well, you talk to people of the who are who are. Uh, knowledgeable about the original muscle car era like me yeah and um, the 440 must the 440 uh, Dodge Challenger RT was also more capable than the 390 Mustang back then so uh, if you watch the chase watch how they take off and land you know the Dodge lands hard but it just like keeps going never never you know the, the Mustang looks a little more skittish on a couple of the things so but, Dodge 2 Ford Mustang Zero <laughs> I don't know. I'd love to. It'd be fun to do a chase and see how they do it yeah. in, a, in, a, in, a, in a chase. But it certainly, if you're looking for a proper homage to one of the coolest cars or one of the coolest movies ever made, uh, and then been, maybe buy one, hide it in the barn for 30 years, and come out <laughs> and say like, "Oh, here it is." Maybe they'll let this one. <laughs> the rot one, the, the number one. <laughs> yeah, maybe they'll let this one rot away for 30 years. Let the steering wheel That's get stolen. Good. Let the engine seize up, and then bring it out and say hey look it's back we Isn't found that cool? it <laughs> we let it go we let it go to terrible condition and now we kind of brought it back just enough to run how awesome excellent well Kyle if that happens <laughs> as they say in the show business we'll see that's you. show business <laughs>